Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to unbox and do a quick test of the Huion Canvas Pro 16 pen display. This is one of two new pen displays that Huion has released. The other one is Canvas 16. Now this is not a full review. This is just a quick impression video. The full review will come two or three weeks later because, well, these things, they need time to test. This is a review unit from Huion. I do not need to return this. Usually for review units like this, I would give them out to art students and art communities after my review. So for the past few years, I have been giving out all these pen displays, like all of them, to the 24 hours comics day participant. So this is the pen display. Let me put this aside first and take out the cables. Oh, this is the pen stand. Let's take out everything. So everything seems to be quite well packaged. This is the stand, the cables, the pen, and the manual. These are all the items included. This is the power plug and this is the adapter. Here in Singapore we use this three pin plug. So depending on where you are, your location or your country, you should be able to choose the appropriate plug when you purchase the pen display from Huion's website. So let me just connect this and this will go to the cable that is provided. This is a three-way to one cable. So this power supply will come here. The other two ports are the full-size HDMI and USB. On the other end, this will go to the pen display. No driver disk is included, so you have to download the latest driver from their website. The warranty card. This product comes with a one-year warranty. Sometimes when you register online, they offer you additional months of free warranty. So this is the quick start guide. Some stickers. These are shortcut stickers that you can stick on your keyboard. It's nice that they have included a stand. So this is the front two large pieces of rubber here. On the back, four rubber feet at the corners. So let me open this. All right. This is actually not that easy to open. So you have to, there's this latch here that you can pull up, but it's very tight. So I would open it from the sides here. And seems like you can turn this around here so that you can put it onto the base here. You can use different angles. And this piece here. Oh, okay. So it comes out this way. So if you want to have this at a low angle, you can do so. Now these edges, they are well, they are not exactly sharp, but you still have to be careful not to have your fingers caught in them. And this will snap back because there is a strong magnet here. And to prevent the pen display from slipping down, there is this latch here. The build quality is very solid, just that it's a bit tight here. Pen included supports slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. It also supports tilt sensitivity. This pen is quite light, but the build quality is solid. It has a good grip because of this large piece of rubber here. Two side buttons. On the back, there is no eraser. There is also no charging port. So this pen, it doesn't run on battery. You do not need to charge this. The stand included allows you to put the pen horizontally on it or vertically and you can twist it open to see the replacement tips and this metal clip here this is the nib remover and lastly the artist glove and one piece of microfiber cleaning cloth this is the pen display let's see what's here they have a warm tip here Please peel off this mask before use. So this is the protective plastic film that protects the screen beneath. This is a 15.6 inch pen display 
and the surface as you can see is a matte surface the design looks nice it looks inviting rounded corners thick bezels on the back we have two large pieces of rubber to prevent the pen display from sliding around on the table this is a full metal back so the build quality is very solid on the left side here we have the power button three physical shortcut buttons here this looks like a touch bar another three physical shortcut buttons here and there is another button here i wonder what this does this display it's really thin it's even thinner compared to my laptop and on the right side there's this usb-c port for the cable let me just connect the cable to the side so this is a l-shaped cable let's power this up and see what happens so the light turns green red and then green the resolution on this 15.6 inch screen is 1920 by 1080p and the colors they look good out of the box the pen does work the cursor is following the pen so i'm going to download the driver at the time of this recording the driver is not up yet so you see i keep touching the screen thinking that it's a touch screen because it's so thin it looks like a tablet but this is not a tablet this is actually a monitor that you can draw on so you do need to connect this to a computer in order to use this so i have some strong sunlight on the right side so this is how the matte screen surface will look like when you have a light source on the side so this is not reflective and this is very nice i like this and now let's do some quick drawing tests this app that i'm using this is midibank paint pro now there is no way for me to adjust the pressure sensitivity or configure the shortcut buttons because there is no driver yet but i've discovered some functions that were pre-programmed into the shortcuts so this is brush this is eraser and these two buttons here to change the brush size so i'm going to hit the brush and increase the brush size right when increasing the brush size you have to click this continuously you cannot hold it down but you can with the keyboard and it will increase the brush size continuously if you want to do so using the button here you have to keep on clicking which is obviously very tedious since there is no driver yet i am working with the default pressure sensitivity So pressure does work and this pen it's very sensitive this app is also quite responsive the lines they come out very quickly so there doesn't seem to be any sort of input lag which is great the matte surface screen is nice to draw on the pen has good friction on it and because it's a matte surface it's not as sticky compared to those glossy screens and this screen size 15.6 inches it's really i think a pretty comfortable size to work with it's not too big and it's not too small So because there is no way to configure the pressure right now it's a bit difficult for me to get the stroke transition from thin to thick i wanted to use finger gestures again but then i remembered that this is not a tablet this is this is still a monitor so now i'm using a thinner brush so it's easier for me to get the thin and thick transition with a thinner brush rather than with a thicker brush let's draw some hatching lines so this this let's draw some hatching lines 
So this looks fine. Let's see how the lines taper. They taper very gradually, very nicely. The transition from thin to thick is also quite smooth. There is almost no gap between the glass surface that I'm drawing on and the LCD screen. So the lines, they appear as if they are on the screen, which is really nice. And because there is no gap, there is not going to be any issues with parallax. I just found out that when you press and hold this button, the on-screen menu will appear. So now I am going to change the brightness of the screen because the default brightness is not bright enough for me. So each of these buttons here, they correspond to the controls here. I'm now testing the tilt sensitivity. I'm now testing the tilt sensitivity. Pay attention to how the cursor is turning as I turn the pen at different angles. So I'm going to draw some strokes here and then I'm going to turn the pen to the other side and draw like this. So it does support tilt. Let's draw a circle without doing anything to the pen. Another circle with the pen turning so that the darker edges are on the outer side. So there is tilt and pressure sensitivity at the same time. And it works quite well. I didn't experience any major issues during this short test except that the drivers, they are not available at the time of this recording. Anyway, in my full review, I will test this more thoroughly. I will test the drivers and the different drawing apps that I have on both Mac and Windows, and also color calibrate this screen and see how good the colors actually are. So if you want to find out more information about this pen display, or if you want to pre-order this, the link is in the video description below, as well as links to some discount coupons. Huion didn't tell me the price of this pen display, so you have to find that out on their product page, which should be up by the time you are watching this video. And the last thing I want to say is do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you can get notified when my full review of the Canvas Pro 16 is out. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.